Hi, and welcome to the section of the Calculus 3 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue talking about line integrals, but specifically, we're going to talk about line integrals and vector fields, line integrals of vector fields, OK? So in the last section, we talked about the fact that we wanted to integrate a function over a certain path that we could use a parametric equation to describe. And then we would actually do that. And we could pick any arbitrary path and integrate that function along that path, OK? And that's all just fine and dandy. Now. When you're talking about the vector fields, there are some certain specific applications when you might want to integrate a vector field over a certain path. That's really what you're doing here. There's applications in, in pretty much all branches of, of math when you would want to actually integrate a vector field over a certain path. Okay? I'm going to try to give you a good example of that right here before we get into the math, and uh, hopefully that'll help you. So remember back in freshman physics when you learned that work was forced dotted with distance force dotted with distance. And what that means is that if you have something and you're pushing on it, then uh, you know you could be pushing on it with an angle. Let's say I'm pushing a block on an angle down and it's resting on the ground, but it's scooting along the ground to the right. Well, it's force dotted with distance. So the only force that matters is the force in the direction that the thing is actually moving. Okay, that's, that's pretty important. So if I'm pushing on it at an angle, then only the component of my force acting in the direction of motion is the one that actually gets multiplied. That's what the dot product does. Okay? Now, there's some you know, a little more complicated situations when, you know, what if what if the path that I'm pushing this block on, you know, this all the examples in freshman physics were all straight paths. A block moves down, you know, down the sidewalk and I'm pushing it, how much work is, you know, are you doing on the block? Okay? Well, what if you know, I'm in space and my spacecraft is flying through a force field. It could be a gravitational field, it could be some other field that's exerting a force on it. How much work is that field doing on, on the ship and vice versa? And what if the ship isn't even taking a straight path? What if it's taking some weird other path? What if I'm firing some thrusters or moving around in, in an odd way? What kind of uh, uh, work is being done on the ship in those cases when I'm not even taking a straight path? I think a, a picture is worth a thousand words, so let me go ahead and draw that now, and hopefully I can make this um, you know, even, even that much uh, more clear for you. Okay? So what you have here is, let's just look at two dimensions here, just for now, because you know, make it a little bit easier to, to visualize. Okay? There's two dimensions here, and inside this, you know, um, uh, two-dimensional thing, there's a, there's a vector field, okay? It's a, it's a force field of some kind. It could be an electric force pushing on a charged particle. It could be gravitational force pulling on, a, on something. It could be whatever, but there's, there's some sort of vector field going on here. So there's arrows, you know, all over the place, and they're all pointing in different directions, a little bit different, you know, magnitudes. They're not, they're not all pointed the same way. They're just kind of kind of generally pointed that way, but they're not all pointed the same exact way. Now what if I have this particle that comes into play here? This particle comes in and begins to interact with this force. Okay, So this particle comes, maybe something like this, like this, and it kind of just makes its way through the field like that. Okay, So this is a path C that the uh, particle travels. Okay? And what I really want to find out is what is the work done on this particle by this force field here? So the, the particle comes in, but it doesn't come in in a straight line. This is an electric force or a magnetic force or something that acts on the particle, and I want to know how much work is done on the particle. Okay? So what you can do is really exactly the same thing that we did in the last section.